Hi, I'm James and I'm here beside my tiny garden pond to see what microscopic life is floating and swimming about in the filamentous algae and debris in there. This summer I bought a microscope which has magnification all the way up to 1,000 times. I bought it originally with fungus identification in mind, but now I'm looking at much more than just spores. There are various ways of collecting samples to put under your microscope. The first is a pipette. Or you could use tweezers to collect filamentous algae. Or you could just get a scoop of water with a pot. As long as you have the right equipment, it's very easy to look at something under the microscope. All I do is put a drop on a slide, place a cover slip on, and put it under the microscope. Let's see what we found this time. This is a Clostarium, a desmid species. These are microscopic algae, which float or are attached to filamentous algae or objects in the water, such as twigs, leaves and logs. This is a euglena, a very interesting organism. They're sort of a combination between a plant and an animal, as they can both produce their own food and eat other organisms. Scientists have been arguing about where to classify this organism. So they're now in the kingdom of protists. They're not plant, nor animal, fungus, or bacterium. This is another pretty cool protist called the Vorticella. They live their lives attached to an object by a long, extendable cord, which they stretch to grab passing food. They can sometimes even be found on the bodies of invertebrates such as Daphnia 